大家好。In this lesson, we will introduce the structure for most Chinese verbs. Verb object. This lesson presents a short grammar explanation, examples, and comprehension questions. Most Chinese verbs are actually composed of two parts to form verb object compounds. For example, to dance, 跳舞 can be further divided as a verb, 跳 which literally means to jump, and a noun, 舞 which means dance. Thus, the Chinese word for to dance literally means to jump a dance. Here are some more examples. To sleep, 睡觉 is composed of 睡 meaning to sleep and the noun 觉 meaning sleep. Therefore, 睡觉 literally means to sleep a sleep, and actually to sleep. To read, 看书 Is composed of 看 meaning to read, and the noun 书 meaning book. Therefore, 看书 literally means to read a book. To sing, 唱歌 is composed of 唱 meaning to sing, and the noun 歌 meaning song. Therefore, 唱歌 literally means to sing a song. If we want to specify types or amount, we place that specification between the component parts of these verbs. So to say "dance three dances," as in "I want to dance three dances with you," place the number and measure word "san ge" in between the verb "tiao" and the noun "wu." Thus, to dance three dances is "tiao san ge wu." I want to dance three dances with you. 我想和你跳三个舞 Here are some more examples. To have a good sleep. 睡一个好觉 To read English books. 看英文书 Please note the verb object compounds already consist of an object within the word. They cannot take any more objects outside of this construction. This is the end of the lesson. 谢谢大家，再见。